Uh, hello everyone and good afternoon. Welcome to the sixth episode of Psych Talks for Psychologists and I'm your host Ms. Vasha, Director at IHS, Institute of Clinical Hypnosis and Related Sciences. Today we have with us Dr. Raman Gosle who's going to talk about transactional analysis. Before we go ahead, uh, whoever is watching, feel free to ask questions in the comment section. We'll surely answer them. And also you can start a watch party on Facebook so that other people can also benefit from it. Uh, one quick one-liner for the organization that we are. Uh, we are an organization that focuses on helping psychologists, coaches, trainers develop advanced coaching and therapeutic skills. A brief introduction about uh, Dr. Raman. Uh, he's a highly trained relationship counselor, psychotherapist, trainer in TA at a heart-to-heart -heart counseling center in Mumbai. And he's also sought after corporate trainer and a mindset coach who also helps people and teams through various psychological issues. He also conducts uh, various mental health care programs on anger and stress management, thinking and communicating effectively, and creative thinking through crisis. Uh, Dr. Raman brings a valuable insight and clarity through his unique storytelling and life, real life experiences and struggles uh, so that one can sail through it. So here we present and welcome Dr. Raman. All right. I'm uh, glad to be here among you guys. So good afternoon to you. I'm assuming everyone's uh, in the same time zone. So good afternoon, good evening, depending where you are. Uh, yes, at least uh, our uh, local audience would be there. All right. So fantastic. Dr. Raman, a quick introduction if you want to give for yourself and then we can start with our topic, uh, transactional analysis. So yeah, guys, those of you all watching, I'm a psychotherapist. I have a clinical practice. Nowadays, because of the lockdown, I do consult uh, uh, mostly using, uh, you know, video conferencing platforms on Zoom or Skype. Um, before I entered the mental health profession, I used to be a television and media professional, which I did for a decade. Um, wow. And uh, that's where I worked with places like Discovery, Sony Pictures, Paramount, MTV, Channel V, UTV, Star TV. I worked with all of them. I was in advertising. The reason I shifted to mental health was because I myself have dealt with some uh, very dark phases in my life without going there. And also because I started thinking a lot about the phenomenon of uh, change uh, and how that can really, uh, you know, set things rolling in both directions, either a favorable direction or, you know, a very uh, dreary and strange direction. So for me, I always was obsessed with how can I change to be stronger, to be smarter, to be more interesting, to grow? And uh, that's, I mean, I, I started reading a lot of books. I read, I remember when I read <clears throat> I'm Okay, You're Okay uh, by Thomas Harris at that time. <clears throat> Just the concept of ego states was so exciting to me because uh, every time I tried to read Freud, I would go to sleep. But somehow uh, when I started reading... What thing? Uh, when I started reading TA, I, I just found the concept so relatable, so exciting, and uh, I think very, very straightforward. And, and I, I liked it so much, I actually wrote a book on the subject. It's called Essential TA, a wow. Common Sense Psychology. It's available on Amazon, the soft copy, Kindle copy. Because I also felt that TA literature tends to really complicate the concepts of TA. Um, and it tends to get complicated because there's so much jargon involved. So I have these workshops I run... Uh, at the Heart to Heart Counseling Center, which are doing really well. And I have quite a few students. I have 78 people that are learning TA from me right now, currently through uh, Zoom online learning. So yeah, that's a little bit about me. Of course, I don't have to give you my Janam Patri. You can just Google me uh, on LinkedIn or my website amanbosle.com is there. So you can find out, you can find out uh, whether I like dogs or cats on Instagram. And uh, I, I post a lot of silly things. I love movies, I love music. And I think I just love human beings. I love how crazy we are all, how creative we are, and how when we're pushed, really, really pushed, we can really do some pretty amazing things, I think. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's my... The thought. Yeah. So, yes, that's where I come from. That's quite an elaborate uh, profile. <laughs> Thank you so much. And uh, let's move on to your subject, which is uh, transactional analysis. What is transactional? How would you explain it to the team, as well as to our colleagues or practicing other psychologists or mental health 
I find transaction analysis is a very accessible theory of personality, but it comes under the umbrella called social psychology. So we are uh, looking at the TA looks to understand how human beings behave around other human beings, because uh, TA believes that human personalities are formed as a result of that kind of social conditioning that they go through around their families, around their friends, around their, uh, you know, uh, close ones. And that is what uh, forms a human being's personality. So. TA is big on trying to understand uh, what are these changes that take place within us. The phenom it, it, we call it phenomenological changes that take place within us that make us a certain way. So uh, as human beings, are we very lazy? Are we very prone to guilt? Are we full of anger? Is it very easy for people to bully us? Are we extremely nurturing and caring? And therefore, you know, people really uh, like to have us around. Or are we really funny? Or do we just have trouble following the rules, coloring within the lines? So how do these personality traits get uh, formed? And uh, what are these unhelpful qualities versus what are these helpful qualities? So TA looks to understand pattern-based behavior. Because everything that we think about, everything that manifests as behavior, essentially, uh, becomes repetitive and habit based so ta is really kind is kind of like personality hacking i call it trying to really hack into the way we are why are we this way since when have we been this way and uh, do we need to change if yes how if no why not so ta is all about that kind of investigation process so i i, I tell my students that if you're studying ta you're a, you're part social worker and part detective you know so <laughs> You got to you got to have a little bit of both. So you got to be able to read through human beings, but at the same time, just because you analyze them, just because you can see more than they see, shouldn't make you arrogant. Me, the analyst who knows better than you. Me, the analyst who's going to tell you how to live your life. You know what I mean, Miss Ba? Yeah. So that's a very really little man's description to TA: a theory of personality, social psychology. The founder was Eric Byrne, and he formed it. In, and I always, when I first started reading TA, I remember that TA was born the year my dad was born, which is 1958. So that's how I remember uh, TA. And of course, so many other concepts, parent, child, adult, ego state, structural diagram, all kinds of things. But I, I won't get into that till you ask me those specific questions, because I don't want, it's like a tsunami of information. <laughs> We have a knowledge ka bhandar with us as of sure. what I understand what's coming. So, Dr. Raman, quickly we are going to say a hi and a greeting to everybody who is watching this online. So, you can also say hi. So, there's both you, Watchman, and Kathy, and uh, Where can they see these me. mysterious people? Can I? Can uh, I see you would them? be able to see you would be able to see Dr. Raman on uh, Aicha's uh, Facebook page because we are live oh. there. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. Okay. So I'm only on the app right now. So okay, I can't you see. You are right now on the app. You won't be able to unless and until you open up your Facebook. But then you'll be looking there. So no matter what, we are going to talk to you. So yeah, right. a quick hi to everybody. And uh, Dr. Raman, more so, I'm going to ask you about the uh, importance of transactional analysis. What would you say? See, I, I tell In people, the world. I think TA, because it's analy analysis heavy, so the way I teach it, I always tell my students that if you're able to analyze your personality, your patterns, your habits, repetitive habits, especially that are sending you down the rabbit hole better, then those tools become that much more accessible to you when you take it into your clinical practice or as a therapist. Okay. TA is all about, uh, TA believes in three things. People are okay. People can think. People can change. And TA is all about helping you become more uh, autonomous. So basically, you're free to do whatever you want. Uh, more spontaneous. So, you know, you don't get thrown off when life sort of... Uh, hands you, uh, you know, a couple of difficult days or difficult situations to deal with. T is also big on intimacy. T says if you want something, if you feel something, say it, express it. 
and uh, T is all about being honest about your intentions, all about being very linear in the way in which you approach human beings. Don't be fake, don't lie to them, and uh, preferably don't say something you don't mean. So that's that's what that's that's the space T comes from. So constantly looking to give human beings a reason to be authentic, spontaneous, and intimate with each other. I think I can totally relate to what you just said about TA and I find my personality out there in it completely. Yep. What exactly you said. I can so very well relate to it. Uh, yes, I think it's going to be very interesting to know more about the subject. And uh, uh, Dr. Raman, how can uh, it be used with, uh, TA can be used with other techniques, other modalities uh, that we work while, while we work uh, as a therapist or sex therapist or as a coach. I think TA can work with any modality but because TA is a, a directive form of therapy. It really re involves, you know, you being very potent as a therapist in the first place. So if you're going to be teaching the client something, you need to be seen as an authority figure. If you come across as someone who can't walk the talk, then that's a problem. TA can be, uh, basically, is all, is all about... Uh, giving your client the power to see themselves differently. So you want to also be somebody who gives them the permission to annihilate old ideas, archaic thinking patterns that they may have introjected, uh, especially in their childhood years. If, for example, if they have a parent who always told them to shut up, you're an idiot, you don't know what you're talking, you're foolish, you're stupid. You're giving me a headache. See, your mom is getting not well because of you. Now that haunts you through your life. And you become this really subservient and quiet person. Now such a person might not get promoted in the office despite being very hardworking because he's not a good speaker. He's always been told to shut up. He may start, come with the presenting problem of depression. But actually he may not be depressed. He is just stuck in his pattern of don't open your mouth. So basically, that's what we refer to as an injunction in TA, which is a strong emotional message that you carry in your subconscious. So we have to work with them to help them realize their injunctions. And then we have to create, uh, you know, sort of a, 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 a sort of clear pattern in which they can break through. Then we also do something called script analysis in TA. So we try to help people understand what are these scripts that they are following. Then there are something called script processes also. So you have different types of script processes. Of course, it's a little technical. Then there's life positions. How do you see yourself in relation to the world? What is your, what is the perceived value that you see in uh, situations in the world in general? Some people say these things, right? The world is a horrible place. The world is an unfair place. Yeah. The world is full of bullies. The world is full of cheats. The world is full of right-wing uh, fascists or whatever, you know? So these perceptions of yours, uh, TA really tries to understand. And what are these invisible driving forces within you, which seem invisible to you, but with TA, it's like, uh, you know, seeing it through an X-ray. So once you know, like when we see X-rays, we only see gray and white colors, but you show it to a radiologist and he will instantly know what is where. And he'll just look at it in one second and say, I can so clearly see it. Why? Because he has the training. He knows to how to look beyond the colors. He knows about the anatomy. Similarly, TA helps you sort of understand your psychological anatomy and how different parts of your brain house different memories and different emotions and how you choose to access those aspects of your personality to move towards you know greater solutions to your problems. That's what it's really about. That's what TA is excited uh, to explore, right? And that that that's something that can be married to any form of therapy, whether you do CBT or whether you believe in the more a more Rogerian approach, which is uh, you know client-centered therapy, whereby you uh, mainly put the onus of change on the client and get them to really uh, deep uh, deep dive into it and sort of think about. Uh, what they are doing or not doing that contributes to the mess in their lives, the problems in their lives. So whatever form of therapy that you are accustomed to, whatever form of therapy that you patronize, the fact is that 
you have to uh, see what the client needs. It's not just what are my favorite tools and I want to show the client how much I know or I want to show the client uh, how quickly I can help them change, right? Mm -hmm. And as I said, TA is, uh, is looking to make you more authentic, more autonomous so that you don't rely so much on other people um, constantly uh, for their approval. You're not a, what I call an approval junkie. And you are very sure of yourself. You're able to be spontaneous. You're mm -hmm. able to build really good intimate relationships. Intimate doesn't just mean sex. Doesn't just mean you yeah. fall in love. Yeah. No, you can form a very intimate relationship with your sibling as well. You could be great friends. You could be have, have a great chemistry with uh, your business partner, your startup partner. So TA is all about making you more authentic to yourself, more autonomous, so you're not, so no one can really pull your strings, more spontaneous, so you don't get thrown off guard when life throws you a curveball, and to form more intimate relationships so that you don't feel like you've been cast away, uh, you know, and, and then you're just kind of trying to uh, stay afloat. That's, 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 quite, that's quite an interesting so I have a question, uh, Dr. Amun, that when you said that there are certain people who say that, like you're given the example that life is uh, difficult or it's full of hardship and uh, it's full of challenges. Uske alawa, that's maybe most of the negative things they're talking about, right? Yeah. Uh, then there would be some people who would say that life is a bed of roses or just an example or it's, it's very beautiful or it's, it's very serene. So there's a good, there's a positive and a negative uh, way people uh, see it. So is having both of it uh, okay, not okay, or kya hota hai, matlab? See, Ms. Bob, we all have priorities. No mm -hmm. one gifts us these priorities. We create these priorities based on our personalities, based on our habits, based on our dreams, based on what we've been taught or what we've been exposed to. Like, if you have somebody who says, I have to do it, why do I have to do it? So you don't even know what it entails. So this whole concept of is it good, is it bad? These are very subjective things. I always tell my students, I say, let's avoid using words like good or bad. Let's use words like functional and dysfunctional, helpful and unhelpful, adjusted or maladjusted. Because these are more accurate. Good, bad, kya hota hai? This is not second standard yeah, English. Yeah, quite weak. It's quite weird. I, yes. I, I said, I said, we have to, we have to be very, very, very careful with how we uh, use our vocabulary because what happens is then we sort of force feed ideas in our own mind. So uh, you will have some, as I, I tell, I tell my clients and students, I say you'll have some shitty days and you'll have some fantastic days. So you don't have to only expect to have a chedin as Modi's promising or uh, uh, crazy days or you know lockdown days. See, we've had good memories as well but now currently we go through a bit of a dark phase socially psychologically economically and uh, nobody really knows when this is going to end so i tell people yeah some days and if you've been through difficult times in your past you're better prepared to deal with adversity but the key is to really use your mind in creative and uh in in creative and, and very i think uh What's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Creative and collaborative ways. So look to reach out to other human beings, not because they're going to give you a solution to your pain, but because you would like to learn from them. And in learning from them, you may chance upon the solution, uh, not through magic, but just because you are that much more observant. So the way I see it, TA is kind of like a stencil. So if you want to draw something and you have a stencil and you draw using mm -hmm. it, you're able to make the shape perfectly exactly what you wanted. If you try to freehand the triangle or freehand the square or a circle, you are uh, probably going to get it. But when you do it with a stencil, that shape is perfect. It's as if it was done on a computer software. So you want an accurate picture of your personality. And why do you want this picture to impress Modi ji? Of course not. You want it so that you have clarity. And why do you want clarity? You want clarity so you can live a happier life. And why do you want to live a happier life? Because nobody likes to be miserable over a sustained period of time. It gets stressful. It affects your family. It affects your work. It affects your ability to uh, really get the good things in life. So 
you know, I, and a lot of people spend so many years not understanding themselves. And because they don't understand themselves, they may be doing really some really annoying things or some really strange things that might be uh, distancing people from them. Not social distancing, but, you know, psychological and social and, 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 and emotional distancing. People say, they'll say something like that. And you're like, I'm a nice guy. But when people say, please. So, and people say, I'm stuck within my personality. So every time you feel stuck in life, uh, TA has an answer for that. So that's why I feel, how can we use it? Obviously, first learn your jargon, do your reading. Mm -hmm. Typically, if you want to learn TA, contact me. We have uh, courses that we offer and uh, we happy, happy to uh, give you the information and to get you on. And I've been teaching on Zoom. I've been teaching online. And it works beautifully. And uh, we all have a lot of fun. I, all my students uh, really, really appreciate some of the insights that they have arrived upon. And basically tell them more about their personalities. And uh, that's, that's uh, that, you know, as, as I say, self-understanding leads to self-sufficiently, leads to self-development leads to some kind of it leads to self awareness you know everyone uses this word like awareness change transformation take back the power positive mindset these uh, words are used like uh, very very commonly so much that it almost gets irritating when people use these words what, what the hell does it mean I'm going to you what is all this you know but so ta takes the ambiguity out of the process of change by telling you what do you need to change not giving you this uh, half baked stuff like thoda positive raho, under positive feel karo. No one and if you're having a really bad week, under positive feel karo is not gonna work for you. You can look in front of any mirror, sure. write a blank check, a blank check to yourself. It doesn't work. I don't believe in that sure. stuff. I, I wanna give you something that it's like someone is really hungry and you say apni aak ban and imagine you had some rice. As <laughs> I need to give you real rice, no, if you won't gonna feel hungry. So TA is all about removing that parda. Lifting that, lifting that parda, so that you are able to see yourself differently and see yourself better. Lovely. So let's just check if we have certain questions online, and uh, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of questions. Uh, so Sanjay's asked, um, "Is it is change through TA in life long? Is life long? Uh, because I have seen many modalities clients face the same challenges and problems after a couple of months." So I, believe it, TA I, believe, I believe it's lifelong. See, when I was a student of TA, before I became a, a teacher of TA, I did a lot of what they call self-work. And I realized some things about myself. As I said, I started learning how to draw the, the circle and the square using a stencil. And I was appalled at how many aspects of my personality I had not known. And I had always thought that I have a, a very strong degree of self-awareness. But when I realized so many things about myself, uh, I realized also about certain mistakes I had made with some of the girls I used to date in college when I was much younger. And I realized that they were all had a, had one common factor, obviously, which is not for you to know, for me to know. Uh, and it shocked me that I never saw. I used to always think they're very different from each other. But it turns out I had a type. And that type fulfilled was what in TA we refer to as my script partner or my game partner. And I was able, and I was constantly getting in the same situation over the years. And then that sort of shook me out of my slumber. Yeah, and that's a very interesting uh, incident. And I'm sure we're going to know it later on. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. I'm not going to tell you about my personal <laughs> life. I'll tell you I'm a cat person, more than a dog person. But it really, so you know, Think about think about this. If there are people in your life who have let you down, if there are jobs in your life that you didn't enjoy, if there are moments from your childhood that really pissed you off, you want to revisit them using the knowledge of TA to be able to investigate it better. You know how in movies, when you don't get the desired evidence, uh, how you go back to the crime scene and this time you go with someone else and you, you put on the UV filter light and suddenly you see blood stains where you couldn't see any before, right? And you start trying to figure out, how did we miss this? That is how you need to, you, your life 
is like one of those crime scenes. Crimes committed against you. Life isn't fair, you know, guys. Life can be pretty, can pretty, be pretty hard, you know. A child who's happy uh, may not be seen as happy. They may say, ये तो पागल है हमेशा हँसता रहता है. ये तो इसको देखो इस लड़की को की 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 हँसती रहती है. कौन करेगा इससे शादी? ऐसे हँसेगी तो अपने ससुराल के घर में. These are things said by adults to seven-year-olds, to eleven-year-olds. How ghastly! So how, dis- how disgusting! How disgusting! Right? I was very outspoken and I spoke well also. And I remember my teacher once shouted at me in front of the class, saying, "You're a distraction. You only have questions. You don't know how to take instructions. If you talk so much, you know, you will not, uh, you know, you will not go anywhere in life." And I remember the teacher told me that I'm in the eighth standard. No one is going to pay you to talk so much. And yeah, now it's it's all over. I mean, now I get paid to talk only to talk. So it's it's it's, 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 it's it. I took that as a challenge in my eighth standard. I said, "You think?" I said, "You think really?" So I remember in art class, I used to try to draw, and uh, I used to draw uh, spaceships, and uh, I used to really like guns and action movies. And my teacher used to say, "Wo dekho fruit ka basket hai, wo fruits draw karo." I said, "I don't really draw fruits. I really eat fruits here. Wo bhi pasand nahi hai, kha lunga ek santra kha lunga." So you see, adults have this tendency to want you to fit into their plans and designs, and that screws us up in uh, ways that even we don't know. Till we grow up, until someone else tells us, "Why are you like this? Why are you like that? Why are you not able to have fun? Why are you so always in a hurry? Why are you such a perfectionist? Why do you not show your emotions? Or why are you always trying to please everyone? They don't care that you try so hard. Or you know, all these things uh, come from somewhere. They are investigated in TA. We we call them drivers. Uh, we study them as injunctions. We study them as hungers." Then there are certain emotions that your family was okay with you feeling, but if you felt the other emotion, they said, "No, no, 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 he allowed me." For example, if a boy gets angry and beats people up, the father will say, "Hey, my girl, what have you done? Four girls have been beaten up." If a girl does that, they'll be like, "Hey, girl, what have you done? Four girls have been beaten up." If a girl does that, they'll be like, "Hey, girl, what have you done? Four girls have been beaten up." If a girl does that, they'll be like, "Hey, girl, what have you done? Four girls have been beaten up." If a girl does that, they'll be like, "Hey, girl, what have you done? Four girls have been beaten up." If a girl does that, they'll be like, "Hey, girl, what have you done? Four girls have been beaten up." If a girl does that, they'll be like, "Hey, girl, what कौन करेगा शादी बॉय गेट्स बीच पीपल अप अरे मेरा देखो छोटा सिंगम आ गया हां चार लोगों को पीट के इफ अ बॉय क्राइज चीची लड़कियों के जैसे रोता है इफ अ गर्ल क्राइज दिल से हां क्या हुआ मेरी बच्ची को सी सी देयर डिफरेंट रूल्स फॉर द जेंडर्स आपके फैमिली के पास कितना पैसा है इस पे भी काफी रूल्स डिपेंडेंट होते हैं सो लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक रैकेट फीलिंग्स एटसेट्रा एंड टीए एक्सप्लोर दीस कांसेप्ट्स व्हाट आर द इमोशंस वी आर शोइंग वर्सेस व्हाट वी आर फीलिंग we also teach something called types of transactions you know so some people will not say what they mean and not mean what they say so you know like typically if you see that madhur bandarkar movie page 3 you people will see each other oh wow so nice to meet you you look so lovely and actually you want to say aage moti phir se mere muh lag gaye chalo theek hai hello bolna padega so you see how we are we are so disingenuous as a species in our uh, in our uh, you know interpretation and uh, you know exhibition of what we really want to say so for me for me ta is all about removing all that uh, uh, silliness and all that ambiguity so that we really don't uh, bullshit ourselves and don't bullshit other people as well so that's what it that's what it's really about that's why my book is called a common sense psychology that these things should be common sense but unfortunately you are school system has you remembering parts of the flower who was uh, when did alauddin khilji come to india who was shivaji maharaj's wife what was her name when was the congress party formed and uh, how did when did subhash chandra bose form the azad hind sena i have to remember the dates and reproduce them so pretty much futile information no one has you uh, learning how to uh, grow your wealth No one has you learning how to communicate better. No one has you learning how to Absolutely. understand your person. No one teaches you how to cook. Such a vital skill. चली गई ना कांता भाई अभी सब पानी कैसे? I'm sure everybody could relate to that. So our school sure systems, our school systems are designed to turn us into workers, not into leaders. Remember this. So the way I see it. You have, if you're going to be a worker, then okay, then you are set for the BPO world. 
but people like Steve Jobs, Einstein, is it any surprise that they were never successful in their academic careers? How, what do all these people have in common? The teachers didn't like them and they didn't like school. So that right. so I, I so I think TA is like the alternate school that gives you the knowledge that you need to really succeed as a as an individual first as a communicator in your relationships you will succeed if you know TA better you'll know how to modify your personality based on who you are talking to or what you're trying to accomplish those goals will keep changing based on what you need from the situation and who you are speaking to in the moment. So, Kamand, I think there are certain other questions also. Does it help in in um, addiction? Well, you can understand the source of the addiction, definitely. Uh, but you know, the addiction is a needs the intervention definitely of a medical doctor. Uh, you will definitely need to go to a de addiction expert. Uh, so, what are we talking about? Are we talking about addiction to? Uh, uh, substances or addiction to certain ways of thinking that can also be an addiction you know some people are addicted to playing, playing the victim game you know mere saath bura hua mere saath kitna bura hua pata hai kitna bura hua my family didn't like me my partner left me my industry forgot me paisa nahi mila some people enjoy you know, they're in their 70s and 80s abhi bhi rona khatam nahi hua they don't realize no one cares and i i can tell this to all my clients and then my um, uh, students as well. Nobody cares about how miserable you are. Only you care about it. Okay. So if you want to get out of it, it's in your hands. There are tools available. I will teach you those tools. I will show you the way, but I can't put a gun to your head and make you do it. Let's be realistic. Let's not be silly about it. It's going to hurt. Anything that you do for the first time is going to hurt. When you learned how to walk, you fell down several times. Okay, that time your mother and father didn't say nee, nee, let him keep crawling all his life. Let him not learn how to walk. You learn how to walk by falling a hundred times. Similarly, you learn how to live also by falling through several traps. So addictions is a completely different specialty. I'm not a de-addiction expert, but there are people mm-hmm. out there, combination of homeopathy. I believe even in hypnotherapy, you guys do some stuff with addiction, etc. Right? I'm not. It's not my area. It's not my area to speak about. So, so there are several models. You know what the problem is actually, Ms. Ba. The problem is that everyone who represents a certain school of psychology is trying to pitch it as the best approach. So obviously, I have a bias towards TA because I'm author of a book and I teach it. But I will not be arrogant to say TA is the only thing you need to solve all problems of all Absolutely clients. Absolutely not, clients. because it's, it's important uh, while you're working with clients that you have an eclectic approach. Because not as who as I can eclectic say, you can do everything. Correct. Absolutely. The way you have a balanced diet to fulfill all your bodily needs, you need a balanced. Uh, therapy mandate as well to you know so there's so many forms of therapy just all psychodrama reality therapy narrative therapy cbt old school new school rebt rogerian robert karkov model ta but then it's like a it's like a bag of tricks anyone seen that movie mary poppins kaise wo apne ek hi bag se achanak she takes 100 things out depending on what yeah. she needs to do for the children. Yeah. So you're, you're Mary freaking Poppins, basically. You need to pull out all kinds of things from your bag based on what the children need. As a therapist, you have to see your clients almost like a parent sees their child. They need your nurture, they need your protection, they need permissions from you. to if, like Sometimes you may have to help them finalize a divorce. Sometimes you may have to save them from having a divorce if you know that the reasons are not merited and they can definitely do something about it. So you are almost as a, you're, you're, you're like an emotional custodian, moral gatekeeper. So you need to see them as almost with that kind of nurturance. And that needs to be genuine and heartfelt. Otherwise it won't work. So you use all these modalities, whether someone is addicted, or whether someone needs a psychiatrist, sometimes they need to be given their Fludax and Nexitos, you know, there's no escaping it. Um, if someone has OCD, someone is uh, like, like if I get a schizophrenic who comes in to see me, I'll send them for a personality testing, send them to my clinical psychologist to confirm that there is their delusions. Uh, etc. And then that person will not continue therapy with me. At least till they don't get started on a, um, you know, on some kind of medical 
medically approved course of you know recovery where they're given their pills and they're given their sessions etc so many more music therapies there for people with more extreme uh, uh, issues there's art therapies for younger people so aisa nahi hai ki sirf ta mein it chalta hai kya sab kuch so i'm not arrogant about my modality of course i'm biased towards it and i will be why won't i be i love it so much i wrote a book on it so the fact is that uh, i will not hard sell it but i will definitely say it answers most questions and if you are intellectually curious if you're someone who's generally very curious and you like the process of discovering if you like watching sherlock on uh, netflix or you like the detective process ki i want to figure out why i became this way then ta is definitely for you then is it's a detective series like no other it will send you deep inside yourself and pull out some frightening things some fantastic things and some very very shocking things which you need to know and then yeah. use that knowledge to improve yourself and then teach that knowledge to help other people work on themselves as well okay i'm going to take up another question um somebody's asked if you could share more on child ego and adult ego with an example if you could share for your life so there is something in ta called the so you see I'll, let me again you know, feels like i'm selling my book you see i have on the book uh, there's a pac diagram these three yeah. ice cream scoops yeah yeah so this is called i i've just i i designed that it's just a struct this is basically a modification of the structural diagram which is um, basically you'll see these three circles on top of the other so i call i i i refer to them as the ice cream scoops of awareness okay just for fun i tell people so these three golas are basically like i i tell people imagine them like three folders in your computer and each folder has a very specific purpose it has a very specific so one folder has only documents and maybe uh, instruction manuals one folder has only uh, emotions and one folder has original thoughts so the parent ego state is uh, sort of the folder or the gola which has all the messages that you have um learned from authority figures at a certain age vulnerable age for example always respect your elders never interrupt yes. somebody never waste food you must be honest honesty is the best policy you must respect your elders so these rules that were taught to you you know never be lazy lazy people you know and there's something that nehru ji used to say apparently right what is it haram haram hai etc you know so these things stay in your mind as cookies the way you have to keep clearing your cache on the internet right if your browser is hanging so these stay as in your cache folder the only thing is they don't go never get deleted they never go to the recycle bin so think of them as recordings that basically you can never turn them off but you can reduce the volume so your parent ego state which is the topmost gola has all the things you have learned your child ego state has all your original emotions unfiltered uncensored emotions greed anger sadness fear all these things uh stress and anxiety as well all these emotions are felt when when you were first a baby sort of when you were when you got out of the womb and you know it was an interesting 9 month holiday where it was completely dark you were growing suddenly you're yanked out ulta latka diya gave you a few phatkas on your butt suddenly you're wrapped in a blanket you can't move you don't know what's happening your eyesight's not developed you don't know speech you don't know the world either the ac is too cold in the hospital bed or that blanket is driving you nuts all you can do is you start crying loudly and the adults are supposed to figure out what's happening with you so we all believe that the process of a child coming into this world is filled with emotional experiences that they even they can't understand that's why it's called the child ego state so um definitely this is much easier to explain when i have diagrams and examples to show uh, right now to bounce ar gaya hoga to some of you all who have never heard of ta and the adult ego state which is the center circle is where all original thought takes um, you know starts taking so you see you never have to tell a baby to try to touch that little thing you hang above his bed but he wants to touch it and see it so hat lagaya to hilta hai kya so there are certain original ideas that we have that we uh, that manifest in our lives um and that's because our brain is uh, growing and our experiences are kind of getting fed into that as 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 uh, you know 
the mammals with the largest brains on this planet. We are able to crunch that much more information and not just learn about our planet, but also learn about uh, the entire galaxy, etc. You know, we don't know if there is alien life out there, but we do know that at least here in this solar system, it's just us. And we're trying to figure out what to do. So the human brain is a wonderful tool and it's capable of a lot of originality. So there's either what you have learned or there's the emotions or there's the originality, the ability to be practical, rational, unbiased, organized, like a supercomputer, to crunch information, to make the best decisions. So the adult ego states, uh, uh, as we define it, job is to keep the parent and child ego state in check, like a referee, like a captain. Captain decides the batting order in cricket because he knows who is opening, who is his star opening player and he knows in the end, when they kill the sixes, they send the sixes. He knows. He knows how each player plays. So the adult ego state's job is to be like, uh, like, like a factory manager who knows that lunch break is how time to give it, etc. So these are different aspects of our personality and TA theory was basically born out of the study of neuroscience and also there were some ideas that Eric Byrne borrowed from a psychoanalysis, the tripartite structure of personality, you know, id ego, super ego. But they are very abstract concepts. He actually married that uh, system with his understanding of the fact that human brain has different, uh, uh, you know, emotional and memory banks. So there are different parts of the brain that house different information. So he used that knowledge of neuroscience, uh, which he, which he basically picked up from Dr. Wilder Penfield's experiments. Uh, and then he created uh, the ego state theory and uh, spoke about life positions scripts, mm -hmm. etc. Um, Dr. Aman, any kind of challenges or limitations that they are there by working with If you're not good at explaining things in general, you will struggle with TA. Like for me, one of my strengths I realized is I'm able to take complicated things and make them very stupidly simple. Anyone will be able to understand it. I'm not trying to praise myself. And even if I am, there's nothing wrong with no, that. I we teach that. Well, we even teach that in TA, nothing wrong in praising yourself if you know you do something well. We have a chapter on stroke theory where we talk about that stroking myths and stroke diet, stroke profile, stroke economy. So the idea is uh, if you're good at explaining things, if your client is uh, well-spoken and intellectually cued in to what you are trying to um, really impress upon them, then TA is a tool uh, without comparison. But uh, if the client is going through a very, very, just very deeply emotional issues and maybe talking to them is not going to help, in that case, things like psychodrama and gestalt are very, very powerful, I would say. Uh, but then you, gestalt is also time consuming and gestalt in India is at a very nascent stage you know, the empty chair technique, etc. The parent interview, there are several uh, techniques within Gestalt. Uh, also, Gestalt requires a lot of physical movement uh, and the, you know, to create the figure ground relationships and sitting in a circle, etc. So it's a lot more dynamic and some people will not be up for it. So what I say is the limitations are not to TA, but to the person who is trying to explain TA. So I very often, if I want to understand if someone is good at explaining things, I'll tell them to take their favorite movie and give me the plot in one sentence. And most people are not able to do it. And in that, Shah Rukh Khan is behind and he goes back to the girl. And he is in Pakistan. But actually he is an Air Force pilot, so he has been rescued. And they'll give such a long description. I'm like, Veerzara is explaining that he's explaining his thesis. It's a very straightforward man falls in love with a woman who he rescues. And he goes to find her in Pakistan, gets imprisoned, and then finds her again. One sentence, okay, with a few conjunctions. Are you able to do it quickly? And so, as a therapist, you have to be very articulate. If you're an inarticulate therapist, then it's uh, a poor fit. Then you should probably not consider therapy. You can go into another aspect of psychology, go into research, maybe start publishing into journals, maybe go more towards the clinical side of it where you don't have to do one to one interviews as much. Yes, you do need some basic interviewing techniques, but it's more process driven. With therapy, it's very free flowing. You cannot 
uh, you cannot throw survey sheets at your client's face. Fill these out. I'm going to draw a diagram. No. There you have to win their trust. So if you have the gift of the gab, TA is fantastic. Because you'll really be able to give them something beautiful that they can take home with them. So they won't need be dependent on you till they die. You know, that's the problem with psychoanalysis. Oh, 15, 15 yes. saal se client is your client. 15 years of therapy is Bapre, yeah. manak, that means either you're a really shitty therapist and you don't know what you think. You're a daddy, you're an expert. You, you know, like the old psychotherapist, aisa, wo pipe leke bethenge, you know, it is, your, it is a basically, you, they'll use all kinds of jargon. Your yeah. impulses yeah. go back to, harken back to a time in your childhood. Fancy mat bano, yaar. Dard se guzar raha hai wo insaan. Paise de raha hai aapke saamne bethne ke. If they wanted to hear about positive thinking, they can watch Sadhguru on YouTube for free. He's not, he's a nice guy. I like him. No, 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 no making fun of him. Watch Sadhguru, watch whoever, watch Eckhart Tolle. Why are they paying you money and sitting in front of you to admire your degrees? Yeah. London se kiya ki aapne US se kiya. They need help. Give them the tools. Get them to practice the tools. Evaluate how well they are practicing those tools. You are not just an expert sitting there to show your expertise. You're also a human being trying to help another human being. So why are you in the helping profession? Right. Ask yourself that. So that's what I've, those are my ethics. Um, I think we have, uh, somebody also asked that whether you, does TA work with self-obsessed people or narcissists? Oh yes, very much so. But people who don't want to change won't change here. They will keep one thing in their mind. If they don't want to change anything, then if anyone has any power in the world, then they will not change anything. God himself with his white beard or however he looks, if he's really there, comes and says, change. Change right now. They will not change anything. They will say, who are you? You are in cosplay or what? So don't uh, wait around for people to change. They won't change unless they are afraid for their lives or unless they are scared that something bad is going to happen or something is going to be taken for them or unless they feel greedy that okay i need this i want this i want people to love me i want people to respect me i want people to give me more money i want people to uh, give me their business so that greed will make them change so uh, that's how that's what i feel so if someone is a narcissist someone is megalomaniac self-obsessed that means who apne bare mein sochta hai then why would he come and learn TA? He'd be like, no, no, I don't want to learn everything. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. They'll be cynical. They'll be dismissive. I don't know all of them. The rest of them are crazy people. But if you are curious, you want to learn, you know how to have fun, and you also know how to be serious. You have to be able to switch. In ego state theory, we say, can you be fun, but can you also be really serious? So I practice this in my real life. Before you guys came around, Miss Bai and I were faffing around here. We were talking about fish and all kinds of silly things. But now that I'm here with you, I'm able to dial it down so you guys get the information you need. But we're able to switch in and out of this role on call, not by not automatically. You understand? So that is what TA teaches you as well. Aapke life mein kuch bhi, aapke side se automatic nahi hota fir. Everything from your side is planned. We don't know. We didn't know coronavirus. We didn't know lockdown 4.0. We don't know. We don't know. So we have to have some humility and some uh, acceptance also towards these things. Our personality, our soch, our ichhaen, our kabiliyat, this is our develop in a very good way. Explain. See, I'm not an NLP practitioner, so I'm not going to comment on this. However, mm-hmm. uh, I can speak for TA. I believe NLP, uh, from what I do know, is a lot about positive intentions. Uh, posi- in th- yes, it's about positive intention. The positive intention and, and, and rewiring positive intention. Neural- yeah. Correct. So that you can. So that, see, NLP is very popular with HR and corporates. It's fantastic. Some people who are trained in it, they will say that. You know, I, and TA is analysis based, and I think NLP is more positivity based. So that would be the Mota Mota difference. 
अगर आपको एनएलपी करना है sure uh, well. no no करके आओ और फिर मुझे भी बता कि क्या होता है बिकॉज आई स्पेंड सो मच टाइम इन टी एंड माई अल्मा मेटर एंड आई डू अदर थिंग्स इज वेल आई एम ऑल्सो ट्रेन इन आर बी टी एंड आई डू रोजेड इन स्टाइल तो इट मीट्स माई नीड्स विद माई क्लाइंट्स बट इफ आई फील आई नीड मोर टूल्स then i will uh, maybe some day i'll also uh, figure out what what's what's happening in the nlp world why not right always good to learn new things yeah, so yeah absolutely somebody asked that uh, can uh, one work with ocd ocd in my opinion uh, requires not only ta but it requires a lot more gentle rogerian style uh, and you need to uh, as i said you need to use a very eclectic approach so what i call it is i i call it samurai style counseling so how a samurai warrior is ready uh, for a defensive fight or an offensive fight but the key is that the warrior knows what to do with the sword so the sword can be used also just there are so many katas and there are so many methods in which you wield it there are spins there are maneuvers so you have to do samurai counseling you need to know what to do with that sword ओके यू डोंट जस्ट हैव मेरे चार चार पैतरे हैं और मैं वही उसको घिसा पिटा यूज करने वाला हूं सो आई रिमेंबर आई हैड सीन अ वेबिनार अ फ्यू डेज अगो एंड देयर इज दिस लेडी ऑल शी केप्ट सेइंग वाज इनर अवेयरनेस एंड इनर अवेयरनेस एंड शी यूज्ड दैट एट लीस्ट एट टाइम्स इन वन सेंटेंस यू इट्स अबाउट योर इनर अवेयरनेस एंड हाउ दैट इनर अवेयरनेस मेक्स योर इनर अवेयरनेस यू नो मोर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड देयरफॉर फोकस ऑन योर इनर अवेयरनेस एंड एट वन पॉइंट आई सेड इस इनर अवेयरनेस के सिवा और कुछ आता नहीं है क्या because it made no sense to me i almost felt like asking her can you define inner awareness i don't know if she would have been able to so don't use fancy words with your clients don't use fancy words with yourself all right so i try to speak, speak in very simple ways are you happy with your life is your life shitty all right you want it to not be shitty okay so we need to figure out what's making it shitty is it you that's making it shitty or is it the circumstances or is it a combination of both so i try to simplify it like that so you have to actually you can i can't speak this way to my 84 year old clients because then they'll say how can you say shit so it depends on how you are uh, dealing with who you're dealing with that's why i mostly work with the youth with this amount they see my beard and they trust me more and i try my best to be as approachable uh, to, to them and as uh, so I, i i i tell them that the whole world will lie to you but dr aman will never lie to you i don't lie you 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 are not paying me your hard earned money for me to lie to you and tell you sab theek ho jayega agar nahi theek hoga so then we need to figure out how to deal with it better like if your father is a drunk and he beats up your mom in front of you me is telling you sab theek ho jayega is a lie yes. either she leaves him or she leaves this world because he beat her too hard so what do you need to do we'll form an action plan in what order do you need to figure things out Do you need to be financially independent so you can get your mother from under his nose and move out? Is that what's required? If yes, what is the quickest way to achieve that financial independence? How do you deal with him? How do you involve the right authorities? Do you need to call a lawyer, a social worker, a cop, or all three? In which order? So that is the job of a therapist, samurai style. ये नहीं कि T A में मैंने मैं एक बुक लिखी पता है और उसमें पता है चैप्टर चार में लिखा है ये 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 नो. Sometimes analysis is not required. sometimes common sense is required common sense yes and sometimes you need to bring in other people as well you need to bring in other experts as well so you need to have a good network with other people and reliable people who you know uh, practice ethically because we've also heard of so many things psychiatrists giving medicines uh, you know and then people put on weight lose hair they sleep too much and misdiagnosed depression uh so much it comes to me client khud hi mere ko bol raha hai that i am depressed i'm like no you're not that's the word you're using you're depressed it really might be very hmm it's mm-hmm. very loosely thrown isn't it miss loosely, loosely thrown uh, almost as if dipika padukone has made it fashionable to be depressed <laughs> right aisa ho gaya ki bhai aaj meri bhai nahi aayi to depressed hai aap depressed aap chai nahi mili to yeah i'm depressed ki char din se chicken curry nahi khaya so i mean let's let's so for me the job of the therapist is not is also to uh, help clients uh, learn the value of things like gratitude learn the value of things like uh, being a lot more adaptive uh, nobody misses their maid more than me my maid used to make lovely mutton for me 
and the mutton I make somehow just doesn't turn out as good. <laughs> I know, but these are first world problems, guys. There are people walking back to their villages here. You try walking six kilometers also, they're walking thousands of kilometers here. So there are people with a lot. So every time I feel irritated or I'm frustrated, like I wanted to visit my best friend in Australia this year and I was really keen. And then I was very frustrated when this lockdown began and I said, because I was planning it for August. But then I realized, Aman, your problems are you can't go to Australia. There are people here who have problems that can't get food. There are problems here that job not have I can sit in my kachas and still work, still see clients, still do webinars. So psychosocial education is a very broad umbrella and you need to be very uh, nimble in the way in which you pull out tricks. Remember my Mary Poppins example. You have to be Mary Poppins. It was one of my favorite movies while growing up. You have to pull things out. Oh, and if you notice, Mary, Mary Poppins, uh, why am I constantly talking Mary Poppins? Why is Dr. Amun is obsessed with Disney? The fact is that what's so beautiful about that movie, when she needs to dance and sing, she dances and sings. But when she needs to put them to bed, she puts them to bed. She's strict also. She's stern also. And that movie. She even bajows the father and says, What's wrong with you, boss? Like you've got to figure yeah. this out. You need to be a better father. Yeah, yeah. So that's the beauty of you have to be very adaptive. approach. I keep every day I watch TED Talks. Every day I try to learn something new. And I have this little uh, notebook in which I write down ideas and I, you know, then I, 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 I store it somewhere online and the notebook it's still there on the internet somewhere. Hidden location. So if I want to pull out interesting ideas, I have a bank in a library that I have curated of things I like. So there will be things you like as a psychotherapist. There are certain tools that you enjoy using with clients because you know you know those tools well and somehow the clients also appreciate it. So I know some therapists are very big on paperwork and forms and homework and some are just very natural in the way they speak. So you'll have to figure out what your approach is. The way uh, different actors have different ways to act, uh, right? And their performances, uh, you know, reflect that quality. It's very important for you to also change uh, your approach based on what your client needs. Somebody asked uh, Dr. Raman, uh, is adult a prominent uh, in our person? As in, I think she's asking about the adult state. I mean, she's See, as I, as I said, these are like three folders. Now your computer has God knows how many folders, but do you open all folders equally? There are some folders you uh, open more frequently than others. So the adult ego state is like a folder. I would say access that folder as far as possible, as much as possible. But uh, that doesn't mean you will forget you have other folders. So the adult ego state is what we refer to as the more rational, the more practical, the more balanced, the part of you that figures things out, that saves the situation, that isn't intimidated or bogged down uh, and is only interested in facts. The adult ego state is constantly looking for facts. So you could say someone like Sherlock Holmes is constantly in the adult ego state. He doesn't care about people. He cares only about facts and facts excite him. So this, so it's not a constant. We keep switching in and out of these various ego states. Right. And even within that, you have the functional diagram, you have so in the parent ego state, you have uh, ca categories, you have controlling parent, you have rescuing parent, you have nurturing parent, all these things are there. So, yes. So, any case study that you can share? Say again? I can't hear you, Ms. Oh, it'll get complicated, guys. It'll get long and complicated case studies because it, what happens is jargon heavy here. And if I start throwing jargon at you, it'll miss the point. So, for you to understand, uh, so I'll give you, I'll, I'll tell you what I do with my students is they have something called a self-awareness essay where they have to hack into their personalities and use all the concepts I've taught them. Each class of mine is three hours and there are 14 such classes I take as opposed to a one hour chat here. So how many hours of information and they still don't understand certain concepts despite that audiovisual aid. I show a lot of movie clips while teaching. 
So don't get into case studies because they are not relevant. But understand mm-hmm. that if you're stuck within your personality, if you are, uh, if you are, if you have certain habits which are keeping you from success, if you have certain <coughs> emotions, okay, I'm still here. Yes, if yeah. you have certain emotions that uh, get the better of you. So you know, we always say feel your emotions, but don't become your emotions. Something I believe in. So TA teaches you how to separate. Sounds a little philosophical, but you can't feel an emotion without becoming it. So that's that's what I that's what I say. So um, don't worry about case studies. Worry about uh, worry about understanding the concepts first. Who I can learn? Anyone. I believe even someone in their sixth or seventh standard can learn TA if the teacher is good. Need a good teacher. And unfortunately, the way TA is taught is it's become a bit of a big boys club. Do you have an MA and a BA? No, then you can't learn TA. I think it's bullshit. I came from the world of entertainment here. Yeah. I was a hardcore TV branding advertising guy. I probably still look like one with this weird haircut I gave myself. But that's who I used to be. I've been that way for many years. All right. I had to cut my own hair. So I'm always trying new things, not just with my hair, but also with my mind. And TA embraces that spirit, which is why I love it so much. TA has uh, no rigid rules. The rules are flexible. Yes, there are structures. Now, as I said, with a stencil, you can draw one triangle. But what if you draw multiple triangles on top of each other? Aisa kya to toddler on lagega. Aisa kya to Christmas tree lagega. So you are able to combine the shapes into creating something beautiful, isn't it? So don't limit yourself. Just because you are, you know, you start off learning one modality, learn as many as you can, as much as you have the time to learn, and your clients will thank you for it, definitely. Uh, any personal change that you changes? Personal changes. Personal changes. I used to, I used to be very unassertive when I was growing up because I had a desire to be liked. I wasn't a very popular kid in school because I enjoyed poetry, painting, music, and the kids, uh, boys enjoyed the football and cricket, which I still don't understand and can't stand. Drives me mad. Uh, and I don't understand how you can watch a ball being kicked around for two hours. You know, I'd rather read a book. Uh, you know, I admire art. I don't get it. So I wasn't a very popular kid, and uh, obviously it it, it didn't. Uh, I had a. I always wanted to be part of the cool group. Happens right when when you're growing up, you want to be yes. part of the cool club. But then you realize that apna ap kuch mitti hi alag hai. I don't love. I'm a I'm a fish trying to climb a tree. <laughs> you know what I mean? So let the monkeys hang out in the trees. I'm a fish. Where's the water? You know that kind of thing. So. Tia helped me understand a lot of these things about myself. How did I, why, and how do I constantly keep myself in check so that I'm not, uh, you know, I don't. So I don't. So now consciously, I don't, uh, you know, worry too much about feedback. I just believe in myself. I say what I need to say. So if I get good feedback, it doesn't affect me. If I get bad feedback, it also doesn't. Affect me. I'm like, अपने को अपना काम मालूम है बस. जितना मालूम है उतना अपन कर रहा है बाकी जिसको सुनना है सुनना है जिसको नहीं सुनना है मोदी जी तो है टास्क दे देंगे आपको कुछ ना कुछ कर सकते हैं आप लाइफ में ताली बजाइए कैंडल जलाइए घर पे बैठिए करुणा गोद चिल्लाइए जिसको जिनको आना है वो आएंगे जिनको जाना है वो जाएंगे दैट्स द रूल ऑफ लाइफ आपको अपना रास्ता नहीं छोड़ना है किसी के लिए भी नहीं डोंट लीव इट फॉर योर पेरेंट्स डोंट लीव इट फॉर योर बेस्ट फ्रेंड फॉर योर वाइफ फॉर योर हस्बैंड Your road is your journey. आप अकेले आए थे आप अकेले मरोगे कब मरोगे किसी को मालूम नहीं है किसी को नहीं मालूम नो वन एक आपको पोस्ट कार्ड नहीं आता इज ऑन दिंग अनाउंसिंग दर इज टू बी दिस वेबसाइट दैट आई टू सी इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी एट कॉल दैट क्लॉक वेफ यू टाइप योर बर्थ डेटर मेरे को बता रहा है मैं कब मरूंगा So, so don't be as i tell people don't be silly and naive okay be clever and be uh, hungry for growth if jinko bhook nahi hoti unko kuch nahi milta if you are hungry you will learn you will fi- you'll figure it out so that is my wish for you guys to be hungry to never be arrogant 
कि मेरे को बहुत मालूम है टीए मालूम डॉक्टर में उनका बुक पढ़ा मेरे को सब दिखता है मैं शर्लॉक होम्स नो डोंट बी एरगेंट डोंट बी एरगेंट से देख भाई हम बेवकूफ थे हम बेवकूफ रहेंगे इट्स अ जर्नी टुवर्ड्स बेटर वेज टू डू थिंग्स इट वाज अ एब्सोल्युट एंड अ ब्लेसिंग टू बी एंड ऑफ द सेशन एक्चुअली वी आर एट ऑलमोस्ट एंड and i am sure that everybody else online watching us also had a lovely time um, and a lot of uh, resourceful information so thank you so much uh, dr ramon for your valuable inputs and your time and thank you everybody watching us and a small reminder for today's uh, true talks last episode which is being uh, going to be conducted by mamta sharma and nitin shah going to be at 10 pm um, india time and the topic for today is going to be mindfulness and application in uh, sector b for any further questions uh, you can visit us at uh, www.ichas.com and i'm going to see you all tomorrow again at 4 uh, o'clock uh, which is going to be a seventh episode look time actually flies and the episode is going to be about psychological issues with uh, special case so thank you once again everybody and yes dr amin you want to say something If you guys want to get in touch with me, um, just uh, find me on LinkedIn as Dr. Aman Bosley, or follow me on Instagram. I'm very active there. My Instagram account is L Snow Eight, which is spelled as E L S N O H and the number eight. L Snow Eight, one word. So just look for me, or just type Dr. Aman Bosley Instagram on Google. You'll find that it's an open account. Follow me, stalk me. and uh, you can uh, we can stay in touch if you like what you heard here and yeah my youtube channel is there where i have explained several concepts of ta so i do a lot of lectures on ta with my slides etc so if you want to, if you are very curious about ta again go on youtube and just type dr aman bosley you will find my youtube channel a lot of free videos free content free webinars i have done and somebody opened the damn door <laughs> all right fantastic <laughs> You know okay, where to find me. You. YouTube, Insta, yeah. LinkedIn. Find me, stalk me, and see you around on the internet. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, uh, uh, Dr. Ramon, and uh, we are off. Uh-huh.